Hi, I'm Paul from Dronsky.com and if you're curious how good the new DJI Mini 2 is in terms of wind resistance, then this video is for you. What's even more, I also compared it with the DJI Mavic Air 2 and the original Mavic Mini to see how well it progressed and if it actually compares with the best drones from DJI. I did two official recording tests, one flying them on a windy day with stronger wind gusts and another one using a very strong leaf blower in all angles. At the end I'm also going to compare the exact distance they traveled from the wind blower to get some data out of it. If you want a free before flight checklist to make your flight safer and make sure you don't forget stuff when you fly, then click right here at the top or check it down in the description. It's worth downloading to get in a pattern even for just a few flights. In this first shot you can see how the drones behave in a low wind scenario, probably somewhere around 10 km per hour max, but that day had some strong wind gusts of up to 30 km per hour, so wait for it. You can see that in terms of hovering, the two drones on the left are the better ones, with the one on the right being slightly more twitchy. This means we are starting the video with an already slight difference where the Mavic Air 2 on the left and the DJI Mini 2 in the middle have a very slight advantage, but trust me, this amount of movement can't really be seen from the perspective of the drone camera itself. The Mavic Air 2 presents almost no movement when hovering, same goes for the Mini 2 when looking close up. The Mavic Mini does twitch a bit as you can see here, but only very slightly. At this point I was getting some stronger wind gusts and the drone started moving a bit more. The Air 2 is also moving in stronger wind gusts, so it's definitely not undefeatable. As you can see at this point, I got a very strong gust of wind and they handled it pretty well. The original Navi Mini on the far left did lower its altitude a bit. If we go closer to the Mavic Mini, there's definitely a case being made that it moves more erratic compared to the other two. Overall, I wasn't really happy with this test alone, although I got some pretty wind guts and kind of got an idea of which is better in wind. So I decided to actually rent a very powerful leaf blower and see how things are going there. This blows wind at 76 meters per second or 260 kilometers per hour at a pretty large debit. This is quite a lot to handle for a drone, so I had to stay a bit farther and then get closer depending if the drone can handle it or not. I recorded this with both my iPhone and the camera, so this is why the image will seem to change from time to time. Let's start with the DJI Mini and go up to the Mavic Air 2 last. As you can see, the Mavic Mini does get blown pretty easily and what's more, it seems to lose its altitude quite easily, almost like losing power or something. I felt like I couldn't press the throttle for too long or the drone would simply fly away or just drop to the ground. But there were some angles in which it resisted quite well. The most noticeable was that it was losing altitude quite fast, even if I hit it from below. Now let's try the DJI Mini 2 which should have level 5 wind resistance just like the DJI Mavic Air 2 and definitely improved from the original Mini.
The Mini 2 is also blown away pretty strongly by the full force, but you can see it didn't lose altitude like the original Mini did. So it keeps its level at least. All drones were really sensitive when hit from below, but that's something you don't often encounter in real life. As you can see, the Mini 2 definitely hold on much better to its position and altitude compared to the Mavic Mini. And I could use a full throttle on the wind blower for a more extended period of time here. Overall, a clear improvement from the original Mavic Mini. Now let's see how the DJI Mavic Air 2 does. It theoretically should be just as good as the DJI Mini 2, which supports up to level 5 wind resistance. I could notice right away that it was moving less than both the drones from before, even at full throttle. It did turn in the air though, but I continued the test. I got the wind blower very, very close to the drone, even more so than the other drones. And it handled it like a champ from all sides. Well, not that much from underneath or the back, it was twisting in all the ways from both sides. Now, is there a way to at least measure the distance this drone flew or at least a slightly more scientific way to measure how things went besides looking just with the naked eye? Well, there is. I thought measuring the distance between the hovering point and the maximum lateral point the drone flies should be enough. But how close the end of the wind blower is to the drone itself also matters. Because the closer the wind blower is to the drone, the more powerful the wind is. So we'll have two measurements to worry about. We know that both minutes are 203 mm wide and the air is 253 mm. So I entered that measurement first in the farthest point for the Mavic Mini. I measured it flying about 1781 mm from the wind blower ending. That's about 180 cm, which is pretty close to 2 meters from the original point. It also moved about 1 meter. Let's do the same for the DJI Mini 2, as you can see, it moved about 124cm from the blower, which is 60cm less than the original Mavic Mini, and it moved almost 65cm from the original point, which is about half the distance of the original Mini. This means the DJI Mini 2 definitely moved a lot less than the original Mavic Mini. I've written an article comparing all these drones in terms of wind resistance, and made some charts comparing these sizes, if it's easier for you to see visually. Link is in the description. Now for the DJI Mavic Air 2, it was only 92 cm from the wind blower, which is yet again even lower compared to the other two, and 59 cm from the initial point, which is even lower than the Mini 2, but not really by that much. At this point, I think things are pretty clear for you and for me. After flying them in a few different environments, I feel like the DJI Mavic Air 2 is still the winner in terms of wind resistance, even though in terms of specs, the DJI Mini 2 and the Mavic Air 2 should be the exact same. It is probably measured by DJI just flying from the front. Wind does come from all sides, so you should probably test it like that. But overall, the difference between the DJI Mini 2 and the Mavic Air 2 isn't that significant. What is significant, however, is the improvement from the original Mini to the new DJI Mini 2. First of all, the DJI Mini 2 doesn't get any errors in the app that the motors are overheating or that the props are spinning too fast. The original Mavic Mini was pretty good. However, it could be scary sometimes with getting errors when trying to return back against some powerful wind. That never happened with the Mavic Air 2 for sure and same goes for the DJI Mini 2. I suggest you check my comparison between the DJI Mini 2 and the Mavic Air 2 right here and if you want to see 
only the camera comparison between these two drones, the Mavic Air and the DJI Mini 2, I suggest going over here. I kind of made a game with it where you have to guess which drone is which and a lot of people didn't guess right. And please leave a comment down below telling me if you think the difference between the DJI Mini 2 and the Mavic Air 2 in terms of wind resistance is that noticeable.